Hi YouTube world, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well and welcome to the first ever K-pop monthly favorites video of 2017. If you're new to a monthly favorites video, I will be talking to you guys my favorite K-pop songs that were released in January. Before I would just talk about any K-pop songs, but this time I'm just gonna talk about all the new ones that came out during the month. So yeah, let's just get started with my top 10 favorite K-pop songs in the month of January 2017. Spot number 10 goes to Bing Bing by AOA. I love how the song starts with the horns, but me some brass and sax action, you know? And I like how the song is both a little bit sultry and playful. Really enjoy how the raps are incorporated throughout the track as well. I know that a lot of people prefer Excuse Me a little bit more because it is more popular, but Bing Bing just happens to click with me better. Number nine goes to Hobgoblin by CLC. When I first listened to the song, I thought this was very four minute-esque, which I get because you know they're in the same company and all. But Hobgoblin is a very different sound compared to their previous comebacks. And I must say, it has lots of trap and hard-hitting beats. Lots of contrast in this song with the pre-chorus starting off smooth, but making a great transition to the hard-hitting chorus. Hobgoblin, pretty turned up song. Spot number eight goes to Nosedive by Dynamic. Dynamic duo featuring a Chen from EXO. All right, so I felt something when I was watching this music video, like a feel good and uplifting kind of something. Really love the low key hip hop vibe, the meaningful raps, and Chen's beautiful vocals, especially with the falsettos towards the end. Spot number seven goes to I'm Fine by Romance. Not gonna lie to y'all, I'm a fan of this group. However, the first time I listened to this song, I was getting kind of sleepy and a little bit bored. But I came back to listening to the track after I decided to listen to the whole EP because I tend to do that with every single comeback for any artist. But man, when I listened to this song the second time and gave it my full attention, I was tearing up a little bit. It's a beautiful song and all of the members have impeccable control with their vocals. Vocals that are able to take you on a journey with their crescendos and their vibratos. Anyhow, just give the whole entire romance EP by this group a listen. I promise you there are some really good songs in that EP that aren't so sad and ballady. Number six goes to Don't Say No by Sohyun. So homegirl Sohyun debuted as a solo artist in January and her song Don't Say No is fire. SM finally did something right here and they really knew how to match her vocals with the song's concept. Very fierce, poppy, and my favorite part of the song is the bridge. Overall, I'm very proud of her for debuting as a solo artist and putting out a great title track. Moving on to slot number five, which goes to my little K-pop band. They're really little, both age-wise, yeah, they're young, and popularity-wise. And they're called Mas Gong Gong Gusa. Their song is called Make Some Noise. They released a few songs in January, and I was so happy, just like how the song makes me happy. It's a fun and upbeat song, making me want to go out in the world and enjoy what it has to offer. And that's saying something, because who wants to go outside nowadays? So yeah, please Please give the boys and the song a listen if you're into bands and stuff like that. The fourth spot goes to I Wish by Uju Sonia or Cosmic Girls. My best friend got me into the song even though I wasn't a fan of it in the beginning, but later on it grew on me just like a bunch of K-pop songs because they just happened to do that. Anyway, the song is very bright, colorful, and cute. Really love how the synths and the other modern elements were incorporated in the song. I don't know how they worked it, but he did. The third spot goes to April Story by April. I read a few things about this group and how they've changed so many members. I hope they don't go through any more changes because I would be very confused if I was an April fan. <laughs> Anyhow, their song, April Story, is lovely. Huge fan of the orchestral instrumentals making the track magical and enchanting. Usually not my forte in musical taste, but the girls got me pretty good with this song. The second spot goes to Limitless by NCT 127. I'm all about this NCT life and this song. I'm just gonna put this out there, but Taeyong's weird notes used to bother me because it was so odd. But now I'm a fan. OMG, I just totally ruined that. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, song got everything with the hardcore raps and the beautiful pre chorus and chorus. 
Plus, my boy Johnny finally debuted and I've waited so long for him to come to me and now it's happened. Good job, NCT. And the number one spot goes to do 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 I wait by day six. Just a heads up, since day six is gonna be releasing something new every month, don't be surprised if you see them in my top 10 faves for the upcoming months because they are my faves to the max. And I wait was a concept that I've been longing for them to try out since ever. The song is so much edgier than their debut track and their last comeback. I do love Congratulations and Letting Go though. But yeah, the guitar, bass, and drums in I Wait are killer. Parts are distributed so well and all the members stand out. And Doan got some more camera time in the music video. Yes, this year is day six's year and I am just so thankful to be a part of it. Before I conclude the list, y'all, I just want to add one more song, but it's not K-pop, so I'm just going to put it in like a miscellaneous thing. Anyhow, I just want to talk about it real quick. It's called Cave Me In. It's a collab with Gallant, Tablo, and Eric Nam. The song is everything to me. I've been listening to it like 24-7 ever since it came out. If you're looking for a voice that's like a combination of Neo and Usher, that's Gallant right there, and his vocals will be right into the song the moment he starts singing. Pavel's rap is very deep and significant, and Eric's vocals are perfect as always. If you're into that soulful and R&B vibe, just give the song a listen. Okay everyone, so that is it for my top 10 favorite K-pop songs for January 2017. I know I'm a little bit late uploading this because it's already a few days into February, but there's a reason why I haven't uploaded at all last month and that is just because I've been studying for a nursing license exam. So I took it earlier this week on Tuesday and I found out my results yesterday morning. Turns out that I've passed and I cried so hard because I put in so much effort for this and now I'm officially a registered nurse. I'm actually doing something more with my life instead of making videos. So yeah, so look forward to new videos by me. I will be making more reactions and maybe do a skit or two since Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't know yet. I also have an upcoming event that I will be attending. It is B1A4's concert in Chicago. And I'll be in Chicago from the 16th to the 19th, so expect a lame vlog from me. And that is it for the video, everyone. Social media links are down in the description box if you want to follow me there. Leave in your comments down below your favorite K-pop songs that were released in January. I am more than happy to reply back to y'all. And happy Groundhog Day. Are we having more winter and early spring this year? I don't know. I I think it's a more winter. Oof, don't know how I feel about that. But it don't get cold here in Florida anyway. Okay, Chloe, you're just babbling here. Let these people go. Okay, I will go now. I hope you all have a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on the time you're watching this. And I shall see you all next time with a new video. Goodbye.